Hello guys and welcome back in the beautiful outsides of Germany. In today's video we are going to be talking about self-love and I have my notes on my phone ready here to make sure that I don't forget anything because this topic is just so huge. Okay, let's press pause for a second. What you're going to see in this video is me giving you a genuine freestyle talk about self-love while swinging my phone through the air in my hand and not the structured video that I had initially planned. All right, let's get back to the video. Any definition that you have of self-love is perfectly valid and fine. And today I want to share mine with you. So first of all, I see the love of our body as being part of self-love because our body is our vessel. Our body is taking us through life is carrying our souls and is capable to put our dreams and desires into action and this is truly beautiful. So I feel like self-love is a lot of body care, self-care, care of your health, of your body, of your vessel really. So what I mean by that is for example having a healthy diet or sleeping enough allowing your body to rest and regenerate properly, doing some exercise, maintaining a physical health is also part of your bodily self-love. And also embracing your sexuality is in my opinion a big part of self-love, being able to communicate your desires with your partner or being able to talk openly about what you like and what you dislike is also part of self-love love. Another thing that is a huge group of self-love for me is your self-talk and the way that you treat yourself. And I think that this goes a little bit in the direction of self-kindness, which is also a form of self-love in my opinion. It is the way that you talk to yourself. We can be really, really harsh to ourselves. We can have really high expectations for ourselves. We can put a lot of pressure as well on ourselves. The way that you talk to yourself really matters. I have made an experiment. I have decided for one day to speak out loud all the self-talk that I have and I was so shocked. You know, you're just going about your day and suddenly you are forgetting your keys and you say like, oh, I'm such an idiot. Are you really an idiot just because you forgot your keys one time? Like, this is so harsh. Just imagine you would hang out with your friend and your friend tells you, oh, I forgot my keys and you just go, well, you're an idiot. Sorry to say, but you are an idiot because you forgot your keys. You know, we, this is just a stupid example, but I remember when I failed an exam, I told myself in my self-talk, you are not able to get anything right. And this is such a harsh thing to do. Yes, I failed once, but this doesn't mean that I will fail all the other times after that. Just making sure that you are being kind to yourself with your own self-talk, with the way that you treat yourself, with the beliefs that you have towards yourself is, in my opinion, a huge part of self-love. Setting boundaries is also an act of self-love as it allows you to put yourself first, to prioritize yourself and to show people around you how they can and cannot treat you. This is, in my opinion, a very, very important and crucial thing to do and it is something that everyone has the right to be doing. Never feel bad about setting a boundary. You have the right to tell people how you want and don't want to be treated. And people will respect the boundaries. They have, most of the time, your best interests in mind. And if they don't have your best interests in mind, then maybe consider whether these people fit into your vision of the future. Questioning the beliefs, the limiting beliefs that you have about yourself is also a form of self-love. Question the labels that we put on ourselves. For example, I am messy. Well, no, <laughs> you have maybe a mess going on, but you for sure can fix the mess. Or if you label yourself being a perfectionist, perfectionism is not necessarily bad, but if you 
think that you're limited by your perfectionism. You are not a perfectionist. You might like perfect things. You might have high expectations, but you for sure are way more than a perfectionist. You are a beautiful human being with so many other skill sets, with so many unique capacities, unique, beautiful, assets that you can use to remove these labels and work on your areas of growth and become the future self that you're longing to be. Another really, really, really important part of self-love is self-forgiveness. We all make mistakes. We are humans. And in fact, I believe there are no mistakes. There's only feedback. When we do something, the feedback can either be positive, it can be neutral, or it can be a bad feedback. Which means that we have identified something that we can work on, that we can improve, that we can do better next time. So forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have done. You are not a machine, you are a beautiful human being. You are unpredictable, you are unique, you are just you and this is beautiful and this is amazing and this is also what makes the human beauty that we are so free and so unpredictable that we are able to create things that are new, that are innovative, that are that have never been seen before. And yes, sometimes it needs us to do the trial and error. And sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail. And it is really, really important to forgive yourself so that you can move forward, so that you can let go of all this weight that no longer serves you. For the end of this video, I just wanna be telling you a little anecdote. I went to the gym the first time in my life because I wanted to have one of these beautiful trained fit summer buddies that I was seeing on Instagram. I went there, I did it maybe 10 times and I hated it. I felt like I was being forced to go to the gym. It was difficult, it was tiring, my muscles hurt. I felt like I could never achieve the buddy that I had in my mind that I wanted to have until the summer comes and I felt pretty frustrated about it. I have really recently started to go to the gym for myself. I have told myself, you are going to do this for yourself, not for someone else's gaze, not because everyone is supposed to do some exercise, but for yourself because you love yourself, because you are the most important person of your own life. And let me tell you guys, this changed my entire life. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, guys. Someone just walked up to me and started speaking with me, so I am back. I wanted to tell you, do the things that you do for yourself, not for someone else's gaze, not to achieve the body of someone else, not because society tells you that you're supposed to be doing that. Do it because it feels good to you. Do it because you feel healthier and stronger than you ever felt before. Especially when it comes to exercise. When I started exercising and moving for myself, for my health, for my strength, this is where I really started enjoying it, where I really felt the power and the strength that it gave me. So please guys, one last time, love yourself, be yourself, and everything will be all right. You are beautiful just as you are. You are an amazing and unique human being. I am sending you lots and lots of virtual love. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or even consider sharing this video with someone who might also like it, and see you in the next one.